right now, if I'm going to rewind, okay, as I pause it right now, both inside receivers are what we would consider up. So this is a match uh, situation here. The free safeties in the middle of the field. You look at both corners. They are inside leverage and they are funneling their guy to the sideline. Okay, so we're getting what we want on the outside. Our three players, our hook curl players, our two backers are sinking with depth off of the quarterback's eyes. You'll notice our safety and our nickel Sam. They are outside leverage on these guys and they are funneling them to the free safety. Okay, our free safety is doing a good job. He's owning the paint, he's in the middle of the paint, and he's reading off the quarterback's eyes. So as this, as I slow-mo this, you'll notice right now we actually took a weakness in cover three, which is a four on three, and turned it into an advantage from us. We now have five guys running man-to-man -man with these receivers and a free safety over the top. We now have a five-on-four advantage. One of the main reasons why I love cover three match as a great uh, example of, and this is a great example of how this uh, plays out in real life situation. Thing to keep in mind that all of these guys now are man-to-man, -man, all right? This running back swinging will be taken by our linebacker. You can see him working to number three. Everybody here is doing a great job of, of maintaining their discipline, doing their job. He's sliding with three. Everybody else is man to man. So if they were to break off, they would own him. And this becomes a long fly ball uh, with really tight coverage. Okay, again, letting this play out. Safety is off the quarterback's eyes. Ball's incomplete. There's nowhere for this quarterback to go. And it starts because this guy, our corner, does a great job of funneling him to his help, which is the sideline. Here's another example. Okay. Again, we get guys that are on or near the hash, two by two. This is, a, uh, again, a great time to make a carry call. One of the things to keep in mind, this is a split field call. So if the, if the guy to the boundary doesn't want to make a carry call, he doesn't have to. He just said he makes no call or, or tells the corner, hey, base it up. The guy to the field, he can make it. OK, in this situation, your free safety, he can always make what's called a 49er call. And that just says, hey, guys, we're, we're anticipating four nine routes. So it's carry on both sides. So if your free safety is worried about it because of down and distance, maybe third and seven game plan, you name it. He can say, hey, 49er and we're going to play carry on both sides. So it gives you some flexibility in this case. These two, uh, two players made a carry call on both sides of the field. Okay, again, good alignment off divider. Okay, here we end up dropping. We only rush three. We spy a player, okay? So here's this, uh, I'm gonna go back, correct myself. At the top, they're playing this base, okay? They're into the boundary. They weren't worried about this guy coming to the hash, okay? But watch what takes place at the top. They get a post wheel, okay? So number one squeezes the new number one. We get a guy running with the wheel, which we'll, uh, we call carry through the zone, which we've talked about, okay? And we're getting a rail down here. Corner up top does a great job funneling, and we'll see this from the backside. Watch how the corner does a great job of funneling to the free safety. Okay, funnels him right to the free. Free does his job. He's got to own the paint, make every play with the inside the hash. He does a nice job, comes over, creates a turnover. Again, a very hard thing for a quarterback to understand because he's seeing zone with the linebackers, but you're man matching it on the outside. One more clip here, okay, we're going to rotate the safety down here uh, to the tight end side, okay, you notice up top our, our Sam linebacker, he's playing really heavy outside leverage, he is definitely in a carry alignment, our corner is now up tighter playing man to man, 
Okay, so everything here tells the quarterback it's man-to-man coverage. But if, depending on routes, this thing could morph into, uh, back into cover three zone. 